Hey everyone, Scott or the Scott Man, and welcome to another edition of Michigan Off the Beaten Path. We're out here in the beautiful village of Grass Lake, Michigan. We're located between Ann Arbor and Jackson, just about a couple miles south of I-94. And we're here to explore the beautiful village of Grass Lake. Although we're not really in the village right now, we're over at the Shrine of St. Joseph, which is a beautiful outdoor church located just to the east of the village. Uh, this is in dedication to St. Joseph the Worker. The Shrine of St. Joseph is unique, which that is both outdoors and indoors. Outside you have a beautiful grotto, the Stations of the Cross, and also the outdoor shrine itself. Mass is celebrated outside here on Sundays at 10 a.m., which makes for a very pleasant way to celebrate Mass. When it's nice and sunny, it's great to be outside in the fresh air while celebrating Mass. But yeah, well anyway, so we're going to head inside the church and check it out. And we come inside, this is a very beautiful church. Mass is celebrated inside here at all other times during the week. We are here on May 1st, the Feast of St. Joseph the Worker. On May 1st, 1955, Pope Pius XII declared May 1st the Feast of St. Joseph, which was established as a response to the Communist May Day. On December 8, 2020, Pope Francis proclaimed the Year of St. Joseph until December 8, 2021, on the 150th anniversary of Pope Pius IX naming St. Joseph the patron of the Universal Church. St. Joseph was a carpenter who also raised Jesus as his foster child. Jesus learned how to be a carpenter from St. Joseph, and Jesus worked with him until he later became a preacher. This is a very special day here for this edition of Michigan Off the Beaten Path. Uh, we've been granted permission by Father Leo to uh, follow along with them as they recite the rosary, because as I was saying today, today is a very special day. At 10.30 in the morning, they're reciting the, uh, uh, the rosary outside. So, so we're in for a special treat today. On earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David. The Rosary in Catholicism is a collection of prayers of devotion to Jesus Christ and Mother Mary. The Rosary consists of the Apostles' Creed, the Our Father, or the Lord's Prayer, the Hail Mary, and the Glory Be, as well as five of the twenty mysteries depending on the day. Well, I gotta say, that was beautiful. <laughs> that was very enjoyable. <laughs> so, so glad I was able to, to capture this moment on, on camera. <laughs> that, 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 was, that was the rosary, and I'm, it's really nice how, especially on a day like today, nice spring day, that it was able to be celebrated outside. More rosaries should be celebrated outside, in my opinion. But yeah, that was beautiful. All right, so we're gonna head into downtown Grass Lake. Next, just head, head about a mile west down Old US 12. All right, we made it into the village of Grass Lake.
And uh, kind of like what I like to do with these Michigan Off the Bean Pat videos, is I like to sample some of the local restaurants here. So we're gonna check out Barney's Barbecue for some delicious barbecue. So we're getting some pulled pork carryout. Uh, they're, they're a takeout only spot, but some really great food. So we're gonna get some food and then head over to the park just down the street and enjoy some delicious pulled pork sandwiches. Yeah, it's such a beautiful day out today, so definitely great to enjoy a nice barbecue sandwich here outside. Got a delicious barbecue pulled pork sandwich. It's one of their specials today. Has a lot of pulled pork on it, a lot as a matter of fact. Uh, even some fried onions, onion straws. And of course, a very nice, looks like an onion bun too. And of course, some homemade chips as well. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and dig in. Oh, this looks huge. All right. I don't know what seasoning they put on this pulled pork, but this is amazing. Very highly seasoned. It's nice and tender, nice and warm, full of flavor. Love the, the barbecue sauce that they have in this as well. Nice and tangy as well. Simply amazing. Yeah, that Whole pork sandwich is absolutely delicious. Even that, like even the onion straw or fried onion straws were homemade too. But yeah, that's that's one thing I love about checking out towns off the beaten path. You'll find some amazing restaurants, local restaurants, that make some of the best food you can imagine. Although I showed it briefly earlier, but that is the historic Michigan Central Railroad Depot. It was the like the original d depot opened up in 1842, but this this one built in the uh, in the Romanesque style. Was re I replaced the original one back in 1887, and and the depot was in operation for about 69 years, and at least 21 different trains pass through here daily. Although, unfortunately, the depot is closed out, but they have restored it over the years, and and the railroad line over here now is pretty much just Amtrak because this is the main Amtrak line which goes from Detroit and Ann Arbor all the way out to Chicago. Oh yeah, it's such an amazing time here in Grass Lake today. Grass Lake is just, a, again, it's just a very small village located between Ann Arbor and Jackson, although maybe a little closer to Jackson. But yeah, I highly recommend ch checking out Grass Lake. And while you're in Grass Lake, uh, definitely check out the Shrine of St. Joseph. It is a beautiful outdoor church. And also there's, an, there's a chapel there as well where you can have a look inside. And yeah, whether you're Catholic or not, everybody is welcome. And yeah, that, that, that rosary that took place outside, that was amazing. I'm so glad I was able to to experience that for myself and also share with you guys as well. So yeah, while you're here in Grass Lake or anywhere here in Southern Michigan, yeah, I highly recommend checking out Grass Lake as well as the Shrine of St. Joseph. You will not be disappointed. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video today here in Grass Lake, Michigan, as we went off the beaten path. For more, or if you enjoyed this video, be sure to click that subscribe button to uh, come along and join me for the adventure. And don't forget to click that notification bell so, uh, so that way you know when a new video goes live. Well, thank you for watching this, uh, this edition of Michigan Off the Beaten Path. And this is Scott, or the Scott Man, signing out.